What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video and I'm just checking in on you. How you doing? What's going on? Now today is August 8th and this is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys. So sit back, relax, you know, grab that popcorn breakfast sandwich, you know, whatever it is you have. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe for more Division content. And above everything else, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. But uh, we will start off here in Washington, D.C., and then we will finish up in New York City. Now, first up, we have the base of ops vendor. So here we go. Oh, nice. Now, starting off with the chain killer. This is the named Walker Harris chess piece with perfect headhunter. And it comes with max weapon damage for the core, weapon handling, and skill damage. Now, what you could easily do is uh, recalibrate either weapon handling or skill damage off for headshot damage. And you could put this on any sort of build that you would like, uh, featuring, you know, maybe a headshot pistol, something along the lines of maybe the Regulus D50, you know, something like that. Even, um, what was the newest one? The Prophet. There you go. This would be a perfect one for that as well. And if you're going to go down that alley, I would probably say recalibrate the skill damage off for the headshot and then do it that way. Next up, we have an enhanced PP-19 with headshot damage and vindictive, followed by a G-36 with reload speed and thunder strike, and an X-45 tactical with headshot and eyeless. Looking at the gear items, yo, this is a good one too. We have a Badger Tough Backpack with Vigilance, Max Armor, Crit Damage, and Headshot Damage. Now you could easily roll one of those to Crit Chance. Either do Double Crit and re-roll the Headshot to Crit Chance, or you could do Crit Chance Headshot and then re-roll that Crit Hit Damage to he uh, Crit Chance. Either way, this is a great backpack. Um, I'm actually going to pick one up myself. Nice. Next, we have a Fenris chest piece with uh, health, explosive resistance, and braced. Looking at the mods, we have headshot damage, 7.0. Drone duration, 6.2. Turret burn damage, 4.1. And sticky bomb damage of 6.3. Now, must buys from the base of ops to the chain killer is not a bad pickup. But that Badger Tough backpack with Vigilance is a must-buy in my book. All right. Now, the next two vendors are actually in New York City and Washington, D.C., and those are the Countdown and Clan vendors. I'm going to show you them right here in Washington, D.C. That way I don't have to show them in New York. So here we go. Countdown. Now, your Countdown vendor, we have three named items. The first one is the Burnout. This is the named FAMAS that comes with perfectly on empty. And this one has damage to targets out of cover. So if you want this one, I highly recommend picking it up. It is perfect. All you have to do is recalibrate whatever attribute you want to max out first and then just optimize the other ones. But that's a good one if you do not already have the burnout. Next is the Lavoisier. Le Lavoisier, I believe is how you say it. This is the named electric backpack with perfect galvanize, and it comes with crit hit damage and health. Um, not bad. Uh, I don't know, because I want to switch the skill tier off for, like, say, an armor core, and having that health on there is just uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's a red flag for me. And then finally, we have the Point Man. This is the named Heligard chess piece with perfect vanguard, and it comes with explosive resistance and skill damage. Uh, no must buys from that one. Um, even the Burnout, it's not my favorite weapon, to be honest. All right, so next up is the Clan Vendor, and then we will leave the base of ops. Now, shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom. We are on all platforms. If you are interested on PC, Make sure you add me on, uh, what is it, uh, Ubisoft Connect, right? Um, and, the, and my Ubisoft is Kamikaze Von Doom. Uh, PlayStation, you can add me on PlayStation, Kamikaze Von Doom as well. Um, but find me on Discord. That's the best way to uh, get a hold of the clan for PC and PlayStation. 
As far as Xbox, just add me on Xbox, send me a message, I'll add you to the list. And then whenever we have openings, I'll send out a mass message. And then it's basically first come, first serve. We'll just fill up the clan. And then whenever we have more spots open, I'll send out another mass message and then just keep doing that. And that's how we keep a full and active clan. So I am sorry if you have been waiting to join the clan, but we do keep it active and we will cycle people through. I promise it happens to everyone, whether it, it be, you know, Diablo came out, so now they're not playing because of Diablo or Call of Duty or whatever it is. Um, you know, we are constantly cycling through to keep the uh, clan as active as possible. With that being said, here is your clan vendor. Starting with the mop. Now this is the named 612 shotgun with that armor on kill. And this one has pummel. This is a great one to pick up actually. Um, pummel is a great talent to have. You have the three consecutive kills will refill and grant you weapon damage. That's perfect for this type of shotgun that already has the armor damage and armor on kill. This is a good one to pick up. Definitely recommend. For the gear sets, we have True Patriot Gloves with Headshot, Hardwired Holster with Skill Damage, that's a good one, and a Hardwired Backpack with Skill Haste. Going to the high-end items, we have a PDR with Ranger, Max Assault Rifle Damage, and Armor Damage. This is a good pickup as well. Um, the PDR right here, wow, that's a good one. Next, we have a Tactical UMP with uh, Max Armor Damage and Vindictive, a MP5 with Outsider and uh, Stability, and then a Military M870 with Swap Speed and Preservation. Looking at the gear items, we have a Walker Harris Holster with, uh, oh, this is a good one, actually. All right, so pick this one up and recalibrate the skill haste off for crit chance, and you can make this one a double crit Walker Harris holster. This is a great holster to pick up. Clan vendor, pick up the Walker Harris holster, recalibrate that skill haste for crit chance, then just optimize the weapon damage and crit damage, and you are good to go. Then we have a Golden Gear backpack with armor regen, health, and concussion. Not bad, actually. That's a, I, I like that one because with the concussion, you could go headshot build and then recalibrate the health off for headshot and then go headshot region. Ooh, that would be dirty. I might do a headshot region build. All right. Yeah, I might do that. Um, then we have a uh, wyvern holster with skill damage and armor region. Again, this one's a good one too. Uh, you could pick up this holster and then just uh, recalibrate that armor region off for skill haste and you're good to go. Looking at the mods, we have crit chance 4.7, crit damage 10.5, pulse cone size of uh, 6.5, and seeker mind plus one cluster. Now, must buys from the clan vendor, I would say the mop is a great one to pick up. True Patriot with headshot is another great one to pick up. Um, hardwired, they're both good because they come with a skill tier, so you can recalibrate the other thing for whatever it is you want. The PDR is a great one with the armor damage and ranger and max assault rifle damage. That's a good one. The Walker Harris holster is a good one. That way you can have a double crit. That's another must buy. The Golden Gear backpack with concussion and armor region. All you have to do is recalibrate the health for headshot. That's another must buy. And the Wyvern holster with skill damage. All you have to do is recalibrate the armor region off for skill haste or status effects. All right. Whew, that was a lot. I mean, that, that was actually a lot of uh, really good items. Um, surprisingly so. And uh, that sadly is it for the base of ops. So now we are making our way west and we will uh, double back east. Our first stop is going to be the campus settlement. Now, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. We do division content every day. And let me know what you think in the comments section below. Here we go, Vendor Campus. Are you looking to make a deal? Night Watcher. This is the named Heligard mask with that 100% scanner pulse haze, and it comes with health. Then we have a Model 700 with armor damage and in sync. And finally, a military RPK with headshot damage and sadist. 
Looking at the gear items, we have a Wyvern Mask with skill damage weapon handling, and then a Richter and Kaiser Holster with headshot and skill damage. Looking at the mods, we have Skill Haste 10.1, Chem Launcher Heal 5.9, Hive Range 4.0, Pulse Skill Haste 5.0, and Trap Duration of 4.3. Now, uh, must buys things to look for from the campus. The only thing that really, sh you know, is the uh, wyvern mask. You could use this one as well for a skill build. All you have to do is recalibrate the weapon handling off for skill haste or status effects. All right, and that is it for the campus. Now we are making our way to the dark zones, starting with dark zone west. How west? All right. Now a reminder. For all of these dark zones, they only take dark zone resources as currency. So to double check your dark zone resources, go to inventory, then toggle over to resources, and then toggle down right above your keys, you will see your dark zone resources. So for example here, I have 321 out of 999. So if I need any more to buy some items from these dark zone vendors, I have to go into the dark zone and I can either open up the little blue boxes to get dark zone resources, or I have to pick up contaminated items, deconstruct them in my bag and extract them to pick them up. So that's how you get them. And here we go, dark zone west. Starting with the Calibre. This is the named shotgun with perfect jazz hands and it comes with headshot damage. Then we have a military M870 with reload speed and fast hands and a USC 45 ACP with health damage and lucky shot. Looking at the gear items, we have uh, heartbreaker gloves with explosive resistance, hot shot knee pads with crit hit damage, Richter and Kaiser gloves with double crit, nice. And Yuzina Gattaca knee pads with armor region and hazard. Hmm, not bad. For the mods, do, 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 we have incoming repairs, 16.6. .6. Seeker mine radius, 4.2. Shield deflector damage, 4.1. Firefly damage, 5.7. And tr uh, decoy duration, 5.5. I almost said trap there. Mm. Now for the must buys in DZ West, I mean, to be honest, um, these bottom two uh, high-end gear items are the best in the bunch. Uh, double crit for the Richter and Kaiser, you could easily just recalibrate that skill tier off for an armor core or a weapon damage core. Put this on a healer build and you could have a healer crit build. Um, you do get that incoming repairs from the Richter and Kaiser and that would help your incoming heals. Uh, the Yuzina Gedeka knee pads are good as well. Remember the three piece for Yuzina gives you hazard. This one comes with hazard. And the other two from Yuzina give you total armor and armor and kill, which both work perfectly with armor regen. So these are a good pair of knee pads as well. All right, and that is it for Dark Zone West. Now let's uh, take our talents down south. To DZ South. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. DZ South. Big money, big money, big money. And starting, ooh, that's a nice one, with the strategic alignment. This is the named China Light backpack with perfect shock and all. Now this one is a must buy because it does come with status effects and all you have to do is recalibrate that armor region off for skill damage and you are good to go. This is a great backpack to use for skill builds, especially if you are using an explosive. Um, I would highly recommend using it with like mortar turret, uh, seeker mines, stinger hives, things like that. Great backpack, try it out, DC South. Um, next, we have a tactical UMP with uh, optimal range and preservation, a honey badger with armor damage and vindictive, and a snub nosed with uh, stability and steady handed. Looking at the gear items, we have a hotshot backpack with crit chance, tip of the spear chest piece with crit hit damage, 
China Light backpack with unstoppable force, skill damage, and weapon handling. And then finally, a Fenris chest piece with headshot, repair skills, and focus. Looking at the mods, we have headshot damage 7.0, uh, drone duration 6.4, uh, turret damage 4.1, and sticky bomb damage of 6.4. Now, must buys, things to look for from DZ South. Uh, the strategic alignment is a good one. Um, hmm. I mean, the honey badger with armor damage is nice. It's a good weapon. Hot shot, if you need it, it's it's okay. And tip of spears, all right. I mean, n none of these scream must buy, in my opinion. Thanks for the business. All right. They're not really worth uh, your DZ resources. Okay. Now, let's jump over to the castle settlement. Now remember to fast travel to the descent entrance. This is Back way in. faster than running through. But don't forget to pet Ransom. Hostiles. All right. Hey Ransom, what's going on? Ransom has no food in her bowl, but is happy to see you. Hey Ransom, how you doing? Or is she just cold? Maybe she needs some pillows in there or something. All right, take care Ransom. All right. Now the castle vendor. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Starting with another Night Watcher mask. It is the named Heliard with that scanner pulse haste. And this one also has health. That's so stupid. Uh, model 700 with swap speed and sadist. And then a classic RPK with armor damage and reformation. Looking for the high end items, we have a Petrov mask with skill damage, skill haste. Interesting. Huh. And then a Badger Tough holster with uh, max crit damage and then explosive resistance. Looking at the mods. Repair skills 16.1. Chem launcher heals 6.0. Uh, hive duration 4.1. Pulse effect duration 8.7. And trap duration of 6.1. Now, must buys things to look for from the uh, castle. There we go. Um, I mean, honestly, no. But that Petrov mask with the double skill, it, it does have me curious. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that mask. All right. Now, our last uh, DZ stop is uh, DZ East. And remember to fast travel to the Alpha checkpoint and not the main entrance. If you go to the main entrance, you have to run all the way through the courtyard. And it is quicker to uh, just fast travel to the alpha checkpoint, even if you do get a double loading screen. And we did just get a double loading screen, so there we go. And GG's. All right, there we go. Scanning. And here is Dark Zone East. Big money, big money, big money, no whammies. And we have the Commando. This is the named SVD Access with Perfectly complete. Naked. Comes with crit chance. Then we have a M700 Carbon with uh, magazine size and eyeless. And then a Negev with swap speed and sledgehammer. Looking at the gear items, we have a hardwired mask with crit chance. True Patriot holster with hazard. Nice, that's a good one. Bellstone Armory mask with armor region and max skill damage. And then finally, a Y'all holster. Nice, Y'all. For all of you looking for Y'all gear, here is your Y'all gear right here at uh, DZ East. But this uh, holster comes with health and weapon handling. Looking at the mods, we have repair skills 16.4, chem launcher skill haste 6.0, hive reviver armor 8.2, pulse effect duration 8.9, and trap shock radius of 6.1. Now, must buys from DZ East. Um, sadly, I would say nothing, um, unless you want that y'all gear really bad. So you can go over there and pick it up at DZ East. All right, our last stop of uh, Washington DC is going to be the theater, the theater. Here we go. Here we go. Usually we get something good over here. I mean, every once in a while we do. So let's let's pray to the division gods. All right, all right, man. Come on, please give us something good. All right, come on. Here we go. 
something specific. Fox's prayer knee pads. There we go. All right. Now, if you do not have a pair of Fox's prayer knee pads, please pick these up. You can recalibrate that skill haste off for whatever it is you want, any attribute you want, and just optimize that weapon damage to max. These are the best in slot knee pads in the game because it gives you damage to targets out of cover, which is a multiplicative buff to your weapon damage. Pick it up right here at the theater. All right, here we go. Next, we have a double barrel shotgun with uh, crit hit damage and in sync. Followed by a USC 45 ACP with max rifle damage, damage targets out of cover, and strained. Nice. That's really cool. If you like rifles, that's a good one. Fenris gloves with crit damage and headshot damage. That's a good one to pick up as well. Wow. Wow. Nice. I like it. And then, oh man, I'll, I'll actually pick those up. I'm going to put armor for the uh, core attribute. And then finally, we have Alps knee pads with uh, status effects and crit hit damage. Looking at the mods, we have incoming repairs again, 16.3. A Seeker Mine Radius, 4.2. Shield damage bonus of 4%. Firefly speed, 8.0. And decoy duration of 5.5. Um, but the must buy here would be the Fox's Prayer, USC, and Fenris gloves. All right. And that is it for Washington, D.C. So now let's finish up the video in New York City. We only have two more vendors to go over, being Marco at the top of the escalator and then Roy Benitez just outside. So thank you all for uh, sticking with me this far. We only have a few more items to go over. Here we go. Safe area entered. All right, Marco. Here we go, Marco. Starting with the SIG 556 with max health damage, reload speed, and future perfect. Then we have a black market RPK with optimal range and in sync. An 1886 with armor damage and optimist. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a good one. Huh. Okay. And then a tactical M1911 with uh, armor damage and flatline. Very cool. Looking at the gear items, we have a Araldi backpack with crit chance hazard and calculated. Overlord knee pads with crit chance and status effects. And then a wyvern mask with status effects and armor region. Looking at the mods, we have skill haste 10.3, headshot 7.3, drone duration 6.4, hive damage 4.2, and decoy health of 6.0. Now must buys things to look for from good old Marco. Um, I would actually say the 1886 is a good one to look for. And that's really about it. All right. Now, our last vendor of the video, Roy Benitez. But first, make sure you interact with the dog eh, a couple times, right? Hey buddy, how you doing? Check his food, check his water. All right. But remember to interact twice because uh, the second one is gonna be a random interaction. So let's see what random interaction we get this week. Here we go. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, oh what's he doing? Oh, oh, nice. All right, here we go, Roy Benitez. Starting with the Carbine 7, Reload Speed and Overflowing. Then we have a Surplus SVD with Max Headshot, Armor Damage, and Fast Hands. A SIG 716 with Reload and Sledgehammer. And then finally, a X45 Tactical with Damage Targets at a Cover and Preservation. Looking at the gear items, we have a Empress Backpack with Skill Haste, Crit Chance, and Protector. Murakami knee pads with weapon handling and explosive resistance. And Alp Summit holster with skill damage and headshot damage. Looking at the mods, we have crit chance 4.5, skill haste 10.1, turret health 7.4, pulse skill haste 4.8, and sticky bomb blast radius of 5.0. Uh, must buys from Roy Benitez. Uh, sadly, I'm going to say no. All right. Thanks. 
And that is it for your weekly vendor reset and must buys. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you found it helpful or you know informative in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing and let me know what you think in the comment section below. But again, I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. Have a great day. Oop, as I throw my phone across the room. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone. All right, peace out. Oh, man. Watch me crack my screen. Oh, my gosh. <laughs>